Today we're going to be talking about the five most game-changing books that I have ever read. These are the books that have fundamentally changed the way that I interact with the world and can do the same to you. What is up, YouTube? My name is Aiden Helfand. I am a freshman Cornell University student who helps people reawaken their love for learning by giving video book summaries and actionable tips on kickstarting their learning journey. Over the past year and a half, I have read a lot of books, from things like The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert D. Cialdini to The Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson. I have gone through many genres and many different topics, and after a lot of thought, have come up with the five greatest lessons I have learned from my favorite books. The first lesson is from a book called Make It Stick by Peter C. Brown. In this book, I learned the idea of spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is the act of repeatedly exposing ourselves to information over periods of time to solidify it into our memory. Science shows that this works with something called the forgetting curve. The forgetting curve is a curve that states the first time we learn something, it actually doesn't remain in our heads for that long, only about a day. Once we learn it again through active recall, it goes for longer and longer, going from one day to three to a week and even months to years. This has allowed me to spend vastly less time studying at Cornell as I study for exams two months before they actually happen. One of my favorite quotes from the book is that learning without effort is like writing in sand, here today and gone tomorrow. The second lesson I learned is from a book called Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. In this book, I learned the importance of showing what you're learning in some way. This can be through podcasts, YouTube, blogging, it doesn't matter. The reason this is so important is because it helps you develop a community and lets you elaborate on what you learn. In addition, it lets you document your learning process and opens you up to increased opportunities. This is something I call crafted luck. Technically, it's lucky if something good happens to you, but by exposing yourself to the internet through showing your work, you increase the chances that stuff like this happens. One of my favorite quotes from the book is that creativity is always, in some sense, a collaboration the result of a mind connected to other minds. The third lesson I learned is from a book called Happy by Darren Brown. In this book, I learned the importance of doing what is inside of your control so you don't become depressed. If we think about it, there's only two things inside of our control, our reactions to thoughts and our actions. That is it. If we focus only on those two things, we vastly reduce the chances that we'll become stressed as we don't have to worry about controlling everything. One of my favorite quotes from the book is that the key to living more happily is to simply decide that we're very happy with reality per se. We might as well be, because if we try to change the things we cannot control, we're gonna become angry and frustrated. The fourth lesson I learned is from a book called Getting Things Done by David Allen. In this book, I learned the importance of clarifying what doing looks like and also figuring out why we're doing something in the first place. We often procrastinate because we don't know what doing even looks like and we don't know why we're doing the things we're procrastinating on. This book allowed me to develop a task management system which lets me be so much more productive with my day. And when I say productivity, I mean doing things that I actually enjoy doing, not just getting things on a to-do list done. One of my favorite quotes from the book is, if there's no good reason to be doing something, it's not worth doing. I'm often stunned by how many people have forgotten why they're doing what they're doing and how quickly a simple question like, why are you doing that? can get them back on track. The fifth and final lesson that I learned from a book is from How to Take Smart Notes by Sanke Aaron. In this book, I learned that writing is not just the finished product, but an act of thinking in itself. Oftentimes when people are reading, they never write anything down. But by writing, we actually clarify and deepen the lessons that we learn from books we read. We can do this through several different methods by note-taking in the book itself, or by using note-taking apps like Rome Research and Obsidian. One of my favorite quotes in the book is we have to choose between feeling smarter or becoming smarter. And while writing down an idea feels like a detour, extra time spent, not writing it down is the real waste of time as it renders most of what we read as ineffectual. One of the things that has allowed me to remember all of this life-changing information from books is an app called Readwise. Be sure to check out my video on why and how it works up above so you can start to remember more from books as well. As always, have a fantastic day and bye bye